As COVID-19 cases rise in various parts of the country, the Drugs Controller General of India has approved the restricted use of Covaxin and Corbivax in emergency for children below 12 years. The latter was already being used for inoculation against COVID-19 in the 12 to 18 age groups. Corbivax is a protein subunit COVID-19 vaccine developed by Hyderabad-based bioproducts company Biological E in collaboration with biopharmaceutical company Dynavax Technologies and the Baylor College of Medicine in the US. India's Department of Biotechnology and its public sector undertaking, the Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council, have supported the vaccine candidate from the preclinical stage through phase 3 clinical studies. Corbivax uses a traditional recombinant protein-based technology that enables its production at large scales, making it accessible to inoculate the global population. The vaccine technology was created and engineered at the Baylor College of Medicine in Texas, US. It was then licensed to Biological E through a commercialization team at the Texas-based university for development and production. The adjuvant used in the vaccine is developed by Dynavax Technologies in the US. It is made from the receptor binding domain of the coronavirus spike protein, which allows the virus to latch on and enter human cells. When injected, the harmless piece of the spike protein is expected to trigger an immune response in the body. The available safety and immunogenicity results of the ongoing phase 2 and 3 clinical studies indicated that the vaccine is safe and immunogenic. The Translational Health Science and Technology Institute, an autonomous institute of the Department of Biotechnology, provided immunogenicity data for the Phase 2 and 3 studies. Corbivax is a two-dose vaccine administered intramuscularly and can be stored at 2 degrees to 8 degrees Celsius. Clinical trials indicate that Corbivax can effectively prevent COVID-19 disease following two doses given at four weeks interval. However, the duration of protection against COVID-19 disease is currently unknown. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.